in the arena of endocrine therapy, we heard a number of different new strategies that might pan out in terms of um, providing uh, increasing benefit from endocrine therapy for patients. One strategy is re-exploring the idea of giving more than one agent at the same time uh, to patients with hormone-sensitive metastatic breast cancer. And a trial was presented in which patients uh, received either an astrazole alone, which is an aromatase inhibitor, or an astrazole plus fulvestrant, which is a CIRM. And we've had prior experiences with giving more than one compound at the same time. And in general, they didn't really show that much added benefit, but actually showed more in the way of side effects. So this is revisiting the idea. The trial randomized women in the first-line metastatic setting postmenopausal ER-positive breast cancer to receive an astrazole alone or an astrazole plus fulvestrant. The fulvestrant dose was 250 milligrams. They had a load with 500, 250, and 250 every two weeks, and then 250 milligrams once a month. They actually stratified based on exposure to prior tamoxifen, which was an interesting thing because they, the idea is that if you get a, a s selective estrogen receptor down regulator, that maybe prior exposure to the CIRM tamoxifen would predict more resistance to that combination therapy. They had an interesting population in that trial which, in which 40% of patients had de novo metastatic breast cancer, a much greater number than I think we are used to seeing in practice. In addition, the majority of patients, 60%, were naive to prior tamoxifen. And because of the timing of the trial, uh, essentially no one received prior aromatase inhibitors. So again, kind of similar to what we've talked about with some other trials, uh, this population wasn't typical for the patients we're seeing now in the metastatic setting. Nonetheless, the combination of an astrazole and fulvestrant uh, resulted in an improvement in progression-free survival, which was the primary endpoint. And when they looked at a subgroup analysis, that benefit appeared to be uh, uh, really limited to the patient population who were naive to prior tamoxifen, again, the majority of the patient population. That's still a subset analysis, and it remains uh, the results of the trial that in the intent-to-treat population, the combination was better than in astrazole alone. And what the trial demonstrated is in a population of patients who had uh, gotten prior endocrine therapy, and about 40% of patients had prior tamoxifen included in this uh, uh, group of patients, the patients who got the combination of anastrozole and fulvestrant had a much better outcome in terms of progression-free survival and response rate compared to those that got anastrozole alone. And it, it sort of begs the question, would you utilize this strategy uh, going forward? When they did further analysis of the study, what was demonstrated was that the patients who got the least amount of prior endocrine therapy, so in other words, patients who had not received prior tamoxifen therapy, seemed to be the patients gaining the most benefit from the combination. So will we have a patient population in real life that represents something similar to what was in the trial? Uh, maybe, maybe not, because most of our patients obviously get adjuvant endocrine therapy. They've been previously treated. And if the benefit is really in those that are more endocrine naive, uh, it may be a very limited population. But nevertheless, the results were fairly compelling. The added side effects were not that significant. Another thing that I think people have brought up is the dose of fulvestrant used in this trial may be suboptimal compared to what we would typically use today. So they were more using 250 a month as opposed to 500. And you could sort of criticize the trial or maybe raise questions about whether or not the effect is really as great as one might see if you're using fulvestrant optim optimally. Nevertheless, it's interesting, and I think some people may be drawn towards that strategy in first-line treatment of metastatic disease with uh, hormone receptor positive disease to use a combination approach. And I think we'll just need to see more data when the paper is finally uh, published to really explore it in more detail. Many people working in uh, the ER field for their entire careers believe that this is driven by fulvestrant's efficacy uh, more than the combination. But I, th and you know, the efficacy potentially of fulvestrant in a hormone naive group of patients. Uh, nonetheless, the combination was better, and there may be a population of patients for which that treatment is uh, an appropriate and effective therapy. We now use a higher dose of fulvestrant at 500 milligrams 
milligrams, and that's much more effective than 250 milligrams. So the question, of course, is whether or not anastrozole plus fulvestrant at 250 is equivalent to fulvestrant at 500, and that we, of course, don't know the answer to. Nonetheless, the combination was very well tolerated.